Hey, it's Pastor Dan from Dexter Gospel Church with the Proverbs Practical. Thanks for watching. This proverb gives us a piece of advice that runs counter to what every children's show ever told us. We're in Proverbs 28, verse 26, and it says, He that trusts in his own heart is a fool, but whoso walks wisely, he shall be delivered. So this is like the anti-Disney verse. Or, really, it runs counter to the advice of our whole society, especially what I grew up with in the era of the Disney children's movies. We're so often advised to trust our hearts, to do whatever we feel or think is right, and, and a lot of other catchy tidbits and slogans that are easy to say, but don't match up well to Scripture or reality. In reality, our hearts are dangerous and untrustworthy. Our human nature is not good at heart. Anything good in us didn't really come from us, but from rather outside us, from God. Our hearts are tricky and deceptive, deceitful above all things, Jeremiah tells us. Our hearts are better at fooling us than they are at guiding us. So the absolute last source of guidance that we should blindly trust is our own heart. This verse seems to link up a little bit with the previous verse about the proud heart, the big covetous entitled heart. It wants what it wants and it's willing to discard right and wrong or hurt other people in order to get what it wants. Our hearts are constantly in a state of change. They're unsteady and unreliable. What we feel and what we want can shift and change from day to day. To trust something unstable for long-term direction is simply foolish. To trust something that doesn't want to care about right and wrong, when the most important thing in the world is right and wrong, is foolish. To trust something deceitful when we need something trustworthy is foolish. So don't trust your heart. Don't trust what you feel nor what you're inclined to think. Even the patterns of thought that are comfortable to us, natural to us, are sourced in our hearts. Instead of reaching for something inside yourself, Reach for something outside yourself, something objective, stable, and eternal. Reach for wisdom. The beauty of real wisdom is that it's not sourced internally. It doesn't just come from ourselves. We don't imagine it or make it up. Real wisdom is sourced in God and is a gift of God and comes from pursuing God. James says that if we ask God for wisdom, He'll give it to us, assuming we ask in faith. This means that it doesn't come from us. It comes from God. Proverbs says that wisdom is manifested in the fear of the Lord. When we live by eternal moral principles, instead of internal feelings and inclinations, we have deliverance. We escape the traps that the feelings-based, self-guided, foolish fall into. Those who trust their hearts walk through the minefield of life with a blindfold on, unable to see the dangers that they're heading into. Those who walk by wisdom see as clearly as can be seen, and have a far more trustworthy guide. So don't trust your heart. Trust God and His Word instead. And I hope this video has helped to you. If so, give it a like. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more content like it. If you've got comments or questions about this, we'd love to see you in the comments section, and we'd love to see you in person here at Dexter Gospel Church. Until next time, I hope you stay well, and don't trust your heart.